Hello, my shining stars, Capricorns. Your retrograde Mercury from middle of November to middle of December will be in the house 12. Very personal, very private house, house of cleansing and letting go of your past. And when the sun enters off the Yucas, which I mentioned in your horoscope, please check it out on my channel, you will see that mystical and magical things will start happening in your life and it's up to you what and who you will let into your life because you have choice there is no situations when you don't have choice it's up to you you have to imagine and manifest your reality and retrograde mercury will give you second chances in the house of healing in the house of psychological traumas letting go of the past foreign lands international business opportunities as well as is the house of deep retrospection and magic what a wonderful time for you house 12 is the realm of unseen ruling over hidden thoughts hidden fears and many people they don't know who lives inside of them so when you go to sleep your subconscious and your intuitions your subconscious is trying to give you dreams signs and if you ignore your intuition, you will be punished. That's why you need to communicate and become your best friends with your intuition. It's a superpower when you are in tune with your intuition. Read the signs of universe. I'm pretty sure you will see the repetitive numbers, the messages that will be popping up again and again. You will have second chances regarding house 12. Let me tell you more because I start jumping from one topic to another. I have another video about retrograde mercury in sagittarius which energy it brings to the table please check that out but important thing to mention that sagittarius influence brings you energy of a bigger picture fiery energy and willing to change willing to be healed to be seen and despite the fact that you will want to have big moves it's time to step back and observe to review to renew to reassess it's not time for active actions not yet unless it has the educational part to it and this retrograde mercury can feel like a personal retreat it's the time to recharge and let go all the unnecessary anchors of the past it's time to heal so use this time to see and check which limiting beliefs you have that are blocking your finances or your life life and you can do it when you analyze the patterns of your life, the events of your life, as well as the events that will pop during this month. Meditation, journaling, anything that will help you for deeper thinking will be a plus for yourself. Sometimes it would be just nice to have five minutes to yourself and delegate some of your busy duties to somebody else. If you have luxury of time to have time spending on yourself do not waste it on social media it's time for you to know who you really are and become a happier and a healthier person second thing i would like to mention is nature of course for somebody i call it go to the woods and hug the trees but for some people it's not about hugging the trees it's about being surrounded with a very powerful energy of the earth because you are earth element and if you're ascendant in capricorn you will be getting energy and you will be getting cleansed by nature element earth it can be trees stones if you have a luxury to go into a nature and be surrounded just by nature and not by people you will feel much better you will feel recharged third focus on rest and rejuvenation 12th house linked to rest please honor your need for rest and relaxation this period is ideal for prioritizing sleep engaging in self-care and allowing your body and your mind to recharge even for one day you will feel much better you will see a big difference by doing that you will open up the financial sources and you will become a wealthier person the finances will be opened only when you respect yourself and you have self-care fourth renew any documentation regarding international business contracts for example contract on a cruise ship or remote hotels or islands some very very far away lands or connection with foreigners or remote job at home it's not good for new applications 
but for renewal or reapplying or appealing, it's a wonderful time. Peace. Pay attention to dreams and intuition. It's very, it will be very talkative during this retrograde Mercury, especially with full moon in Taurus in November and full moon in Gemini in December. Dreams during this time will be very vivid and if you hadn't had any dreams in your life, this would be the first time when you will experience colorful, vivid dreams when, where you can probably read, write or perform certain things and the new knowledge will be available to you and not to other people. Pay attention, write down your dreams because first five minutes you still can remember what you saw in details and after this your mind your conscious self will step in and will start affecting your memory that's why write down your dreams immediately after you wake up just think of which guidance you want to get from your guardian angels or from god from the universe and pay attention to your dreams don't stay overly late so your body can actually go into this nice REM sleep cycle the next one, forgive and release the past. Mercury retrograde brings back into your life the events and the people who maybe caused you problems, but it would be a time to analyze the situation and to either part the ways or analyze the situation and not give money anymore to protect your boundaries and to show that you self-value, you also have boundaries that they have to respect by making the choices of eliminating unnecessary people from your life, you will bring much happier life to yourself. So this period is an amazing time for personal healing and closure. Of course, you can practice forgiveness for certain things that could be forgiven, but I also know that not everything could be forgiven, but many things can be forgotten. House 12 is also the house of isolation and solitude. So if you will discover that you need to go to the hospital, it would be a good time to visit the hospital. But keep in mind, when retrograde Mercury is in house 6, house of health, or house 12, like in, in your case, wrong diagnosis is very likely. That's why do not be scared if somebody will give you diagnosis that will shock you. Six second opinion and after retrograde mercury will go direct you will be surprised that you will get clarity much faster and you will meet right people in the right moment in the right time retrograde mercury is an amazing time to collect information but not for active actions yet next point do not rush emotional healing everybody knows that healing especially emotional one progress may be slow but steady and allow yourself the time and space to feel and process things without pushing for immediate resolution it's not how the things work you need to have time to process the same as the flower when it's ready to be open you don't need to open the petals so it will open because you want it to be open the progress will come the healing will come you just need to wait focus on yourself and with different types of meditation music that i also have on my channel you can elevate your vibrations and your healing will become smoother faster and very pleasant sometimes people feel overwhelmed if it happens to you go to the nature meditate do art bring back the hobby that you liked before reconnect with people from your past who were a great help and support in your past but do not jump in the new extreme situations it will not do you any good and of course one more point that i would like to make avoid suppressing your emotions because suppressing will make them linger longer instead of bottling up your emotions find a gentle therapeutic ways to examine them that work for you all people are different that's why you need to find what works for you and your subconscious self i know for me personally creative activity is the best thing to go and i like solitude and i like nature and even then after a deep depression and very turbulent time in, in my life it took me almost two years to bring back myself to the self that i was before karmic relationships that i had so mercury retrograde for capricorn it's a sacred 
invitation to clear emotional and mental space, release old attachments, and make room for the new, wonderful, beautiful, stunning, magnetic, and new beginnings as you are. You are a beautiful human being, and your emotions are valuable, and your best friend is you. That's why respect yourself, honor your emotional needs, I wish you to have a wonderful period of second chances of retrograde Mercury. If you enjoy content like this, please subscribe to my channel and leave the comment under this video. It warms my heart to read your comments. I appreciate deeply your time and attention. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.